been hearing kind of like just still that the economy in the United States still isn't that great. And, you know, there's still some food shortages. You can't even yeah. heard what an avocado apocalypse. Yeah, there was something there was going to be some tax. They took that away. Um, so I think people were happy about that. But yeah, I think I mean, it's not perfect, right? Like definitely still dealing with like supply chain issues and things still being delayed. Uh, I think I think it's interesting to have something going on while you're actually studying it. And I don't think more people understood what supply chain meant until like, you know, it was something I was aware of, right, but did not know ins and outs and details of it. Um, but I think you hear it at least once a day on the news, right? And so I don't think more people are aware of it and the importance of really understanding how supply chain works and all of the effects and everything like that. So I think it's nice for students to kind of see in real time the major effects it can have. That's why I still think it's a valuable career choice for quite a few students. So undergraduate students, there is a supply chain degree within business. But then on the graduate side, both MBA programs do have a concentration within supply chain management. Um, it is a core course built into a lot of different programs, like our master's in management does have coursework on it, right? Like, and there's a project attached and business analytics will have a supply chain concentration concentration as well, just not as deep as probably like our one-year full-time MBA or our Flex MBA both have supply chain attached to it as well. 